All right, what's up, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. I'm here in my studio. As you can see, you're right in front of my easel right here. And uh, I'm going to mix some paint. Well, I'm mixing some paint. I just want to uh, re really brief, hopefully, here be able to to thank everybody who has been giving me such amazing feedback due to the the video that I did where I share what I would do if I were to start all over again as an artist what I would do what would I do hey what would I do uh, uh, uh. What would I do if I were to start all over again? Selling my artwork, trying to market my artwork. What would that look like? Eh, eh. Arr, take that. Boom. Squeeze it dry. Lástima que no entiendes inglés, pues aquí hablamos en español también, ¿cómo que no? So, <laughs> voy a hacer unos videos en español. Tengo, tengo años prometiendo videos en español. So, uh, what else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what else? <laughs> uh, so, we're going to be doing some really cool stuff, guys. I'm going to be showing you all kinds of awesomeness. All kinds of awesomeness. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> laughing at my sound effects I'm so excited uh, yeah I got some really cool stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you guys right now we're gonna do a couple of paintings I'm just preparing some paint here and uh, yeah I've been getting all kinds of all kinds of opportunities from uh, online retailers and whatnot and I'm very excited making this thing work at the same time I'm still uh, working very hard to to share uh, my knowledge with other artists so I'm working on that while while continuing to take care of my family and and create artwork and sell it directly to the consumer which is something that I do um, via via online shops and and eBay and Etsy that type of deal. So it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. It's it's scary sometimes. Sometimes it's scary. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it's very scary because because uh, there's a lot of work. There's a lot of work to be done, and sometimes I wish. The work was simpler and less of it but then if there's no challenge there's no reward right the, the work the reward comes with the challenge and so I'm not even gonna cry about that yeah I'm just mixing some color and we're almost ready to start painting I just thought that you wanted to hear my beautiful voice Nobody wants to hear my beautiful voice anymore. That's what I thought. I thought people wanted to hear my beautiful voice. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Then I got this green, baby. You can't make the scene if you ain't got that green. So I got this green. I'm going to be mixing it. You guys can't see anything, huh? You know why you can't see anything? Because you're not signed up to my monthly subscription. If you were, you would be seeing everything that I do. Everything. You can see all kinds of craziness. I let you in into my secret world. To my secret world. What's up, Lori? What's happening? How's it going, my, my, my friend? What's happening, Lori? Right, look at this man, this is green right here. Some green power. Traducción, I like that. Una traducción. 
I wish I had someone translating everything I was saying in Espanol. Or in Francois. Yo lo hago? Is that what you said? Yeah. Nice. I got some of my Spanish speaking folks. In English, Espanol? Is that how you would do it? Huh? You would do it in English, Espanol? Yeah. Mucho, mucho Spanish. Yo lo haría en inglés, español y un poquito mexicano. Es, es, you're going to learn Spanish at this rate. Uh, estoy mezclando pinturas, uh, María. Mire, estoy mezclando, estoy acomodando mis colores. Listo, casi listo. Look at that. People tell me that that looks like bird poop. Like colorful, colorful bird poop. Share this. Good kind too. Alright guys, let's do this. Ooh, in Francais, it's possible. Claro que si. Este, uh, I speak in all Francois, je parle mucho Mexique. Mucho Mexique, yeah. That's, that's as far as my French goes. Le tole y le Francois, French baguette. Yeah. I love that. Huh? Yeah, I need some Rosetta Stone so I could be like, Oui, oui, j'ai parlé François. Y todo ese, todo ese rollo. Francais. Francais. Merci. Merci beaucoup. And all kinds of cool stuff. All right. So we're going to paint a... Uh, we're going to paint a... Uh, Did I love that? Maria, ¿de, de, de, ¿de dónde nos visitas, Maria? Porque estás hablando un, un francés exquisito. ¿De España? ¿Porque son vecinos? ¿O Rosetta Stone? Look at this. We're going to make some cookies and milk. Cookies and milk. Cookies and milk. Cookies, cookies, cookies and milk. I'm going to paint some cookies and milk. I want to paint some cookies and milk. Some cookies and milk. I want to paint some cookies and milk. De Madrid, ¿ves qué tal? ¿Cómo no? ¿Eh? Yo sé. Yo sé cuando me, cuando me hablan de, de países vecinos. Desde Madrid. Mi esposa estuvo allá en Madrid estudiando... El, es, el español en Alcalá. En, Al, oh, en, en Alcalá, en Alcalá. Mira, unas galletitas. ¿eh? Ay, 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 papá, galletas. Cookies. <ríe> Una gata, entonces. Cookies. Yo quiero, ir a, yo, quiero ir a, yo quiero ir a España, yo quiero ir allá a visitar el, 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 el Toledo del Greco. Quiero andar entre los Toledos. A ver qué se me pega allá del, del viejo Greco. Alright, so, here's what we're gonna do. Ah, ok, ok. Vivió y estudió en Francia. En Le François. Qué chulada. Necesito darme una vuelta por allá por los Madrids. Yo ando aquí en, en Arizona. Aquí con el con el trompetas. En los Estados Unidos. De América. Okay, let's look at those cookies, man. Those cookies are awesome. Desde Estambul, ¿qué tal? Eh? ¿Cómo no? Mi compa de Estambul. Qué hubo, ¿eh? Ya se encontraron, ¿ves? Así debe de ser. Qué chulada, qué chulada es el internet. Ya está ahí mi tío de Estambul. Let's 
see if this cookies if this cookies look good Sí, no, pues yo tengo que andar por ahí Yo tengo que ir a visitar los, el Prado Y andar ahí cotorreando entre Entre las pinturas de, de Velázquez Mi amado Velázquez Que de, necesito de conocer Velázquez y Goya Los pintores Más chingones de todo el mundo Inventaron la pintura moderna esos dos, esos dos tíos. Look at that. Mm. Miami. Look at that. Mm. Muy, muy très bien ¿Eh? ese, es mi, ese es mi François Hasta ahí llega mi François Mi François es como el de Cantinflas Mi François es como el de Cantinflas Hasta ahí llega Madame Ya no más Look at that. Boom, baby. So we're gonna do some cookies and milk here. I love that. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Merci. Que tal? Look at this milk. This milk is like, mm, 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 mm. This is whole milk right here. Yummy for my tummy. Es óleo, uso óleo uh, de vez en cuando acrílico, pero acrílico lo uso en, sobre papel, no sobre lienzo. Sobre papier. <ríe> Le digo que mi inglés es como el de mi, mi francés es como el de Cantinflas. Look at that. Mm, it's nice right there. That is beautiful. Check it out, my friends. This is how we know if something is coming out good. You can feel it. I can feel it coming in the air. We might make them chocolate chip cookies. So what I've learned about oil paint is that you have to you have to really rub it in there. Okay? It's not like acrylic. Acrylic in a couple of brush strokes, you pretty much get the whole thing done. But I, I don't mean a couple of brush strokes, you get a whole painting. I'm talking about a couple of brush strokes and you get the brush strokes done. If that makes any sense. In oil, you, you, there's a lot of rubbing you need to do. Renoir said it best. Renoir said it in a vulgar way, but I'm not going to use that because I know there might be children around. 
Renard, Renard said that the colors need to need to marry. <laughs> need to give each other merry hugs. Hmm. Merry hugs. That's what Renoir said, and I believe him. There, there, there's a lot, a lot of rubbing to do in oil. Lots and lots and lots. Lots of movement. And, and the reason why, it's because you activate the paint. Believe it or not, my friends, when you're painting, the, the, when you're using paint, oil, the paint is not activated. You activate it with the constant rubbing, the constant brushwork. You begin to activate it. Once you activate the paint, uh, it starts doing its job. But in the beginning, the paint is not activated. You have to really break it down through the rubbing. You have to break it down. And then the and, and then you start painting. A lot of us don't get to painting, uh, ever get to paint, even if we're using oils, because you never break down the, the, the paint. This is something that I learned years into this game. You have to break it down. And so you're putting the paint there, but you're not breaking it down. You have to break it down. You have to really, really mix it in there. This is very counterintuitive, especially to modern modern uh, realism, because modern realists want everything to be ready before they start painting. They say, have your colors pre-mixed, never mix on the canvas. They, they obviously have never seen a painting by El Greco or by Francisco, or how would you say, it? Francisco Goya? They never seen a painting by, by, by those cats. Because if you see those paintings, you can tell that they mix a lot in the canvas. Any of those cats. Sorolla, later Sorolla, of course. Uh, there's a lot of mixing afterwards, not pre-mixing, which is something that uh, I try to tell my, my uh, modern or postmodern realists. They want everything to be ready before they start painting. There's no such thing as that. Sometimes you have to play it. You have to play by ear. And if you look at the paintings in the past, a lot of these cats played it by ear. It looked like it was pre-designed that way. But when something is good, it looks like it was prepared. El óleo no seca rápido. El óleo toma algunas semanas para secar. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out with the world's greatest living artist, Jose Trujillo. Boom, baby. Let's put some chocolate chips in there. We need to, we need to make this chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookies. You don't really start painting until you start breaking down the paint. It's it's an interesting concept, my friends. I know, I know, I know this is not something that people hear all the time. You, you probably never even heard it before. People don't talk about this because they don't paint enough. See this cat, this cat you're seeing here, I, I paint about 12 hours a day. I've been doing that for over 10 years. And, and you start finding out stuff. When you, when you use something a lot, you start finding out secrets that other people don't don't even see that they're there because they're not they haven't put in the same amount of time continuous time i'm not saying some people have been painting longer than i have but i put continuous time continuous time is is a, is is where you start mastering something and i've learned that when you start breaking down the paint you tap into something that people only dream of in painting first of all this starts to break and I'm not saying literally this starts to listen to you this starts to listen to you you break it you break it break it like breaking a horse okay this starts listening to you and then the paint starts listening to you as well it starts obeying you have to break it down through the constant the constant rubbing Renoir said they need to 
the paint needs to have sex with itself, with the other paint, right? If the paint does that, then the paint starts becoming real. It's the constant movement. You see? This is from my imagination. Imagination. I have a very big, uh, mucho grande imagination. Imaginazione. Only, only when you start breaking down the paint that you start getting rewarded with your painting. Your painting starts rewarding you. You have to break it down. Break it down! You have to break it down. The, the, the paint, even if you pre-mix it, it's not broken yet. You need to break it like a horse. It needs to be tamed and broken. Yes, please. Can I can I can I get a mucho grande? Can I get a mucho grande? T yeah. A mucho grande TG. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Get them because it might be lunch later. Okay. Get him, baby. You see, this is what makes the paint, my friends. This is what makes the painting, my friends. The constant, the constant rubbing makes the painting. There's a lot of people that want to finish the painting without without breaking it first. And so and so they're like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do because you're not there enough. You need to be there enough in front of it. And then it shows you the way, just like Hotel California. It shows you the way. This is how you become a mucho grande master painter, como Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist and stuff. Some people are probably thinking that I actually believe that. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now. I actually do. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Ooh la la. Mucho Francois right here. There's a lot of Francois happening right here. Molto Mario. Break it, break it, break it, break it. All you gotta do is just keep breaking it. Break it, break it, break it. Keep breaking it and it keeps showing you the way. Paint is, is very bizarre that way. All it needs for you to do is just to keep rubbing. That's all it needs. But, but, but most of us get entangled in the idea that we have to do a good job. You don't have to do a good job. You just have to keep rubbing that thing. And it does a good job on its own. That's all. Look at that. Glass of milk and cookies. Mmm. Mucho grande, baby. Chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies for me right now. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Dude, you guys are gonna think I'm bananas, and you guys are probably right. Which bananas around town? Let's do another one, cause I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling lucky today. I am feeling mucho lucky mundo. Yeah, I'm gonna do another little painting like that because those little paintings are super cute. They're super cutie pie.
That's how it's done, son. That's how you do some cookies and cookies and milk. <laughs> you just said it was it's nuts. It was that super nuts. Uno mas, uno mas. Guys, I'm gonna show you another one. Check it out. If I'm gonna be here this long, if I'm gonna be here, I don't know, for a few hours, I better have some funds. See, so the, the, the drawing doesn't really create the painting, my friends. Some people out there think that the drawing creates the painting. The drawing doesn't create the painting. What creates the painting, it's the constant brushing. The constant brushing is what creates the painting. Ooh la la, mucho Francois. Look at this. A little rodent. Oui, oui, mademoiselle. I love this. Look at this. The drawing just kind of just it's just a little it's, it's it's just a little thing to show you kind of where you're going. That's all. It's like a little cheesy map. It's just like a little cheesy map. Like okay, what a, what a, what a rodents look like? Like that little mice. This little mice is going to be special. Special K. I'll show you why right now. I want to show you why. I want to show you why this mice is going to be special K and stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna show you why. Check it out. Look. Ooh. This, this mice took some lessons from uh, from Le Francois and we're gonna put a little tutu a little tutu in this mice this mice is a little ballerina mice this mice was uh, was watching Monsieur What's his name? Um, Monsieur Dega. Watching, watching them paint and and dance, little ballerinas, les petites ballerinas. <laughs> Don't hide that eye. So this is a petite. A petite ballerina mice. Mucho macho. You gotta be mucho macho to be a little ballerina mice. Look at that. And so what makes the painting? The painting is caused by the constant mixing and rubbing of the colors. That's what makes the painting. That's where you get all that all that all that volume and three-dimensionality that people keep talking to me about. How do you get that? How do you get the 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 how do you make it into a 3D piece? Well Oil is very strange that way. Oil, oil will give you three-dimensionality right away. All you gotta do is just keep rubbing that paint. You see?
the worst thing that you can do in a painting is try to finish the painting. I know it sounds interesting, but it's because it is. Don't try to finish it. Keep painting it. Many times in trying to finish the painting, you avoid all the little nuances that you can do. All the little nuances, all the little things that, that are hidden that you can do to a painting, but are only available if you keep rubbing. They're only available if you keep rubbing. Let's do those little those little hands, those little claw hands. Ooh, mucho bueno. See? It's not it's not that it's done with a few brush strokes. That's not it. It's a lot of brush strokes. It's just done very simple that it looks like it's just a few brush strokes. Mucho bueno. Now let's put a little tutu. What do you say? Eh? Let's put a little tutu right here, look. Un petit tutu. Para el petit. El petit uh, toposillo. Look at that. Look at that. You can do all kinds of things with it, but you can't try to finish it. It's like it's like the sin numero one sin of every artist. They try to finish the painting too fast. Don't try to finish it. Try to keep painting until your your arm and your and your your interior knowledge, your internal knowledge, interior, your internal knowledge tells you, okay, maybe it's about time to finish. You have internal un ancestral knowledge in you, you know, and, and if you don't listen to it, um, you're missing out. You keep painting until you go, oh, okay, well, maybe it's, maybe it's time to finish. Maybe it's time to put it away. And that's how you make a kick-ass painting. Now what I'm going to do, Saba, is I'm going <laughs> maybe I stop with the French because I know nothing about French. Uh, it sounds cool though. Look. Eh? Hey, Dion. Mira nomás. Que chulada. De un mice. Little, little rodent, aquí está, era, 
Ratatouille. Aquí está el compa Ratatouille. See, but I, I want those. I want that paint to marry, as Renoir said. Have it marry. Give it. Let, let it. Let it have some merry. Some merry hugs. Married hugs. <laughs> That's <what we> did. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even gonna go there. It's too funny. Married hugs. Look at that. Dude, one one break dancing would be dope. I'd be like Mr. Freeze. Mm. Mr. Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Make a little mice. This some legit Mr. Freeze. I remember seeing the movie Breaking. Breaking. Look at that. Do anything to the painting, anything you want, just don't try to finish it. It's the it's a cardinal sin. <laughs> cardinal sin. <laughs> it's a muy malo sin. Do anything, play around with it, add some more color, just don't try to finish it. Give it some, give it some, um, some shadow if you want. Look, I'm gonna give it some shadow, ooh, shadow, ooh, give it some shadow. Very good, very good. You see? Super simple. See if it's not if it's not simple, it's not worth doing. The greatest things in the world. Are simple. I've been I've been I've been screaming that for a while. No. What the do Because there's always something something that, that, that you didn't do, something that you could do to the painting, 
it's it's good to keep exploring that until until your mind says I think this is good I think I've, I think I've done a good job but let your mind say that not not your uh, not your mind I mean let your your arms say that I'm sorry not your mind until your mind until your arms are like this is good okay this is very good it feels right Then you can be finished. Then you can be like, okay. Okay, Ratatouille. You look from on right there. Practicing your your what is it? Is it a is it a is it a post poster? Practicing your poster? Is that what ballerinas do? I don't know. They practice something. Let me give you a little front view of Ratatouille right here. Look at that. Boom, baby. This little painting is going to be on eBay tonight. I'm going to start the auction at 99 cents because I can. Because I'm local like that. I think that's a good painting. Uno mas. Uno mas. Let's go with another one. Do another, I'm gonna do another at the pool. I'm gonna do another one. Patience is a virtue. It's a virtue, la paciencia. Alright, what do you want, dude? It's the mailman. He goes bananas with the mailman. Alright. That should do it. Let's do a glass. Maybe smaller. One glass. Like a martini glass. Got here quick, huh? fun.
Josie's the grossiest. Careful with ratatouille. But this is gonna be good. Look at that. It's already feeling. I can already feel it. Yeah, okay. It's a TG, no? Yeah. I'll get it right now. I love you too, little dude. Were you talking to your mom or to me? Dude, it's awesome because I love both of you too and stuff. I love when you give me kisses and stuff. For pesos. I love you too, dude. Peace out. Look at that. Look at that mouse. Mm, Much of bueno mouse. Like, hey, what's up, guys? Where's the party at? I know this, this, this mouse is all about that party. This mouse is. for fun, no? Huh? Like I said, the best thing you can do to a painting is allow it to, to come through. Don't, 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 don't try to force it. Just, just be there. Just paint. The number one thing that the painting requires is for you to paint. Not for you to think about the painting, not for you to strategize how you're going to paint it. No, it's just to paint. That's the number one thing. Is that numero uno?
y en Ratatouille. And then just keep going with it. Painting itself, the painting, the painting is like a photograph. It exposes, it gets exposure, right? It exposes itself. It begins to expose. It's just a, it's a slower process. But it's the same thing, it's just exposing itself. Very, very simple like that. gets forced. All it asks in return is that you're there when you're painting. You're right here. And you keep doing that. By the way, the painting does not take the color if, if, if it's not grounded completely, which is a uh, uh, very interesting concept. It's, 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 it goes back to what I was talking about uh, earlier, which is you really need to mix it. It needs to be laid in the canvas really, really well. See, it's being grounded in here. I don't want the paint floating only. I want it to, to take, embrace the, the weaving of the canvas and the yes of it. It needs to, it needs to really embrace it. And only then does it allow you to paint. Prior to that, you're, you're fighting it. At this stage, you're fighting it. At best, you're, you're colorizing stuff. You get to paint once a few brush strokes are in there. They're really in there. And now you're painting. You're really in there. Something else takes over. Uh, what I talked about, your, your primordial intelligence takes over. Not just your practice, not just your practice, because it's, it's what makes you love painting in the beginning when you're first learning, when you were first learning. Um, you painted and then you didn't want to stop. You wanted to keep going. That's your primordial intelligence. You didn't want to stop. When you fall in love with something, you don't want to stop. You want to be around it all the time. You find joy in it. And, and then something else takes over. Which is beyond thought. And, and then that's when you're painting. Baby. You're not painting unless the colors are really in there. Now, and then you're painting. 
free. Your, your arm knows, your hand knows what to do. It's not, it's not fighting anymore. And then you get into the Midas touch, which is a real thing, by the way. The whole mythology of King Midas, it's a real thing, but not as, not as it's presented. People call it the zone nowadays. They call it being in flow or the zone. It's the Midas touch. Where there's tremendous amount of trust, but the trust comes from doing and doing and doing. Until something surrenders. And then all you're doing is just creating pure beauty. A well-worked painting, when you, when you work it, it's never wrong. It's always right. The worst thing you can do to a painting is try to be clever. You have to work it. Beautiful. Let's show you a front view. There it is. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Okay, my friends, this video is about to be over. Uh, thank you so much for joining. This video is finished on their own. Peace out. Take care. And you can always reach me on the DM. DM me if you have any questions. Take care, my friends.